Dr. Schrodinger is very famous for a thought experiment where he places a cat in a sealed box that has a mechanism that has a 50% chance of killing the cat. And then the question is, is the cat living or not living? And the answer is, well, you don't know until you open up the box. Welcome to the threat of cancer recurrence. So easy to understand uncertainty, especially for those of us who don't receive screening. So I don't get any screening. I just have an 85% chance of recurrence. That is what we call existential in nature. So this artwork has three layers. It has the base layer, which is me, the middle layer, which is the Nijing too. You can see the Chinese there. And then the top layer, which is me interfacing with medicine. It's a way for me to understand consciousness and awareness as well as testing and apparentness. No evidence of disease requires somebody to be looking. Otherwise, it may or may not be. So in, in Taoist philosophy, the totality of a human experience can be contemplated through three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shen. Jing is the energy that we are born with. It's also anything that is emergent. Cancer is emergent in nature. You don't catch cancer. Cancer is something that is revealed. Consciousness is not Jing in nature. It is Shen in nature. Do you see how it goes up to here? But it's Shen in nature in that it is more movable and mutable. There's more that can happen with a thought form, with an idea, with a this, with a that, with a real. So much more can happen, right? So the weight of potential cancer is real. The perception, the consciousness of it is also real, but they can be in conflict with each other if I don't get any testing. It creates a, a tension between, especially folks characterizing me as somehow having survived, when I have the threat of recurrence, and I'm at five years almost. Nadon, or inner alchemy, is one way to contemplate where I'm able to sit with what is, which is the realness of me, and contemplate what might be, which is my consciousness and my awareness. And in that way, the Shen, as, as thought forms, they behave a little bit like strange attractors in a chaotic system. So chaos theory says that strange attractors will come in and like influence and impact the fractalness of a thing, but we may not actually understand, know, perceive, whatever, and be able to measure and predict. Physics also discusses this as three body problems. So the, the Shen as a consciousness factor having to do with chaos, complexity, and strange attractors makes it non-linear and also um, less certain, less rational. It's irrational. And from an irrational perspective, we can balance Jing, Qi, and Shen so that the Jing is where it's the heaviest. Jing is me for real, for real. Not the threat, not the concern, not the this, not the oh my goodness, oh my goodness, which is also real. But the for real, for real is me. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on to the surface. And so I'm able to contemplate and to relate to the me that is spontaneously perfected, perfect no matter what, the reality of having had cancer as displayed through the x-ray version of the knee Jing 2 and the possibility of recurrence all self-contained without having to rely on depend on or count on oncology that doesn't test me so my oncologist is now a service provider not even a like a full doctor because my oncologist isn't looking at me whole. My oncologist also doesn't do things like advocate for the use of masks in their hospital system. So again, consciousness, awareness, thought, blah, 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 jing. What is actually happening? What's happening right now? Right now I have a concern. Right now I have a this. Right now is a that. 
okay. Or maybe I don't even know. But if I try to make it be a certain way, follow a certain path, fit into certain boxes, when what I'm confronting is an 85% chance of recurrence, um, no. I can't just make it fit into a little box for a human because that's a really big fucking deal. The piece is amazing. It's on acrylic, so when you put it in front of a light source, it illuminates like an x-ray or a manuscript. And there's so many layers and complexity, but it's also very simple and plain and all the geometry is the same. And the geometry is the geometry of the Niching too of this chart from TCM that invites us into uncertainty. It invites us into strangeness. It invites us into chaos as a way of saying, yeah, that's actually inherent. It is natural and normal which is not what Western medicine and the medical model tells us. Medical model says, if I can't measure it, it's not real. 